Hello and welcome to ALOT Sales and Auctions. We're here with a preview video of our current auction that ends tomorrow, Thursday, April 4th. We wanted to bring this to those folks who can't make it in to see the preview in person. A few things we want to highlight today, and the first one is uranium glass. It's all the rage. Everybody loves uranium glass. We have a few items there, a couple platters and a lamp. Next, another popular item right now are mushroom themed items. This is an adorable miniature tea set with mushrooms, probably from the 1960s. It's in great shape, so cute. Next, we're gonna move over to our bar area where we have a 1978 Hilton Hawaiian Village Hula Girl mug. It's in pristine condition, very cute. Again, to go along with the most popular tiki items in your home. We also have a coconut mug from Trader Vic's in Beverly Hills and a Harvey's uh, tiki mug from, I believe it's Reno. There's also a very cute little San Francisco decanter set back there and other bar items. We also have some beautiful smoking items, some ashtrays, a great humidor, which is made of wood with a copper top. Very nice condition, vintage. And this very nice pipe stand, it's kind of unusual, and you can put a humidor in the center of it. Okay, moving on over to our little boutique area. Um, again, another popular item, the mushrooms. We have a mushroom handbag. Who does not need a velvet mushroom handbag with hand stitching? This handbag is from the 1960s, Sorry Bag, New York, velvet stitched mushroom bag. It's a beautiful piece. It's in really great shape. And we have some other items. We have a beautiful Art Deco perfume bottle that comes on a stand, also made of glass. Beautiful color of blue. Love that color, one of my faves. And what about the peacock? Super cute. So just some fun stuff, some beautiful compact. We have a um, actually 1930s um, Richard Hunt, Hunnett Company. All right, oh, I almost forgot about the herons up there. They are carved of animal horn. They're in really good shape. They're beautiful color, very nice and very popular. All right, now we're going to another galaxy. We have Star Wars. For all of those Star Wars collectors, take a look at this collection. We've got it all. There are vehicles, characters, animals, all kinds of things. I think this guy here is my favorite. I don't know what he's called, but I like him. <laughs> okay, and uh, next up we have this beautiful clock that is a regulator. I lost my notes, guys. Oh, trademark eight. Regulator trademark eight clock. And as you can see, it's running and it chimes beautifully. Okay, over on this side, more collectibles. Uh, lots of mid-century figurines. There's a beautiful planter there with deer on it and also the art glass vases uh, and swan. And we have some pink glass, uh, depression glass down at the bottom, which is really beautiful. All right, we're moving on to our next showroom now. 
where we start out with a beautiful grandfather clock, which you can see is also running and chimes. You may hear it during our little broadcast here. And then we're gonna move on over to the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. <laughs> and look at that, another mushroom set, set of salt and pepper. We got a shroom for every room here. It's a must-see. And what about those little pineapples and cherries? So cute. So a lot of these collections of the salt and pepper are dated as far back as probably the 1940s up to the 70s. We have other collectible ceramics, um, animal type things, owls, poodles, you name it, we got it. And then we come down to the margarita glasses. It's Margaritaville, it's margarita time. Cinco de Mayo's coming up. Who doesn't want an ice cold margarita in one of these glasses? They're beautiful color, they're in great shape. Everybody should have a set of margaritas, even if you don't drink margaritas. All right, and as you can see here, we have some art pieces um, and a beautiful lamp. There's a beautiful eagle bronze statue. These items are not in the auction, but they are for sale. So if you see something that piques your interest, um, including this gigantic Justin So painting from 1978, I'm sorry, wrong date, 1976, original D Justin So. It's the largest piece of artwork that was ever commissioned by this artist. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a, a gilded copper frame on it. It's just a really special piece. If it's something to interest you, please don't hesitate to call us or reach us on our website. Okay, then we have a few other little collectibles here that are in the auction. Um, one thing that stands out on this shelf that I wanted to point out is this super cute Delta bike light. Um, it has not been tested, but it is very collectible. You can see more pictures of that on our website. And now we're going to go over here to the fun stuff. This is a really cool piece here. It is a Henry Tromner. I think I'm pronouncing it right, but you can see the spelling scale. So it's mounted on marble. The trays are brass. This is the regulator button here. So you would turn that to get balance in the scale before you weigh your items. And I'm assuming that this was probably to weigh jewelry or um, gold. It's very old and it's very beautiful. We also have this addo meter, which is really cool. It's an adding machine with a, ray, a ruler on the edges of it. Never seen one of those before. And then this is a fun piece here. This is a Master Crafters motion waterfall clock. And as you can see, it looks like a waterfall. And there's a piece inside that spins around with a light behind it that makes it look like the water is flowing. And the clock also works. It's not set to the correct time, but it does work. And these really cute antique eyeglasses. So fun for display. Probably, I would say from the 1920s or older. Okay, and now we're gonna get into, oh, I wanted to point out this humidor uh, and pipe holder. It's a really cool piece, solid wood. Your pipe sits in here, and then this is a humidor that holds your tobacco or your pipe cleaners or whatever it is that you want in there. Very nice piece. Okay, and now we're gonna take a look at some jewelry. You know, graduation's coming up, Mother's Day is coming up in May, so a lot of these items would make very special gifts for your special person. These are cultured freshwater pearls with a 10 karat gold <laughs> clasp with 
Amethyst and Diamond. Please don't mind our dog. This is Jasper. He's one of our many warehouse puppies around here. So he's just keeping an eye out for us. <laughs> and we also have some freshwater pearls. Beautiful, 18 inch strand. And these are new items. You can see they still have the price tags on them. This one has a 14 karat gold clasp and it was $130 originally. And one more that I thought was super cute for maybe a graduating student or something, this very nice sterling silver crown pendant with diamonds in it. Very special piece. And then we have these other sterling pieces here as well. And again, they're all new. This is this would be a great Mother's Day gift. Three piece set right here. And this is onyx with 10 karat gold beads. All right, oops. And next we have some more jewelry and this is vintage sterling silver jewelry. There's some vintage pins, brooches, uh, onyx ring, um, turquoise, rhodolite garnet, just kind of a good variety and something for everyone. This little piece is really special here, the little fairy pin, and that's sterling silver for your little fairy princess. And this is also a beautiful rope, Italian sterling silver rope chain. And that one is 20 inches. And then we have these loose stones over here where you can mount into whatever you want, create your own piece of jewelry. And this great uh, chronograph, Seiko chronograph watch, because after Mother's Day comes Father's Day, and then there's also guys that graduate too, right? So that's a gift for them. We got everybody covered here at A Lot. All right, then we have some military items. We have uh, buttons. I was going to say buttons and bows, but there's no bows in this one. <laughs> we have buttons, medals patches um this is a great piece here uh, it's an old manual military manual in the united states navy hanky and also the silver story that contains real currency american currency all right moving on down this is our costume jewelry drawer I don't have time to unpackage any of it right now, but if you go onto our website and click onto the auction, you will see all of this jewelry spread out and displayed beautifully, and you can take a look at it up close and personal. And you see these numbers on here, those are the lot numbers, so these would be in the 800s if you're looking for costume jewelry, but we do encourage you to check out the entire auction. You never know what you might find. All right, here we go. We've got the pinup girls, pinup girl postcards. And those are by Mutoscope. And there are nine of them. They're very cool. They're blank on the back. There's nothing on the back. Um, there's also the Collier's Magazine that has some, it's from 1952. It has beautiful illustrations inside and advertisements. If you look on the website at the auction, you'll see those pictures. And some brass uh, letter openers that are very cool. This lizard here is my favorite. And then we have the Pisces fish. If you know Pisces, that'd be a great gift. Birthday. All right. And then here we have some antique photographs, probably dating back to the Victorian time. And also these um, tin types, tin types. So they're photos on tin, on metal. Very cool. And some vintage postcards that um, there are a handful of them there. I don't remember how many, um, but I think only one of them has writing on the back. Otherwise they're clean and postcards from other places, including this last bunch from San Francisco that are very cool. All right, next we're gonna move on to our lighters, cigarette lighters. This one is a gorgeous piece. It's sterling silver from Siam, very intricate, and two different pictures on, little Buddha lady there. 
And then we have a collection of mini lighters from Japan, brass, and we also have an opium pipe. I told you guys, we've got something for everybody here. All right, now on to the lead toy soldiers. Um, we have lead and we have cast iron. Many different um, little collections there and they're in such nice shape. The paint's nice on them. It's kind of a fun thing for a collector. And then there's a variety of things in here. Um, there is a beautiful celluloid dragon cigarette box that I think is just really great, especially it's the year of the dragon. So maybe someone who was born the year of the dragon, which I happen to be, and I love that, you know, would love to have that as a gift. All right, now we're gonna move over here and we have some vintage tin toys. Tin toys and cast, die cast trucks from uh, Barkley and Tootsie Toy. And you'll see our business cards here. If you wanna pause your video, you can get our information, the website, phone number, if you have any questions about anything. Um, and also, I just wanted to throw out there that we do offer other services other than our auction. We do estate auctions, we do buyouts, we do estate sales all sorts of things. So if you have a need for that kind of a service, give us a call. See if we can help. This tin toy guy is pretty cute here. He was a drummer, but he doesn't have his drum. So now he's just running the bid on auction. He's ready to roll. 